Hi, I'm so glad that you joined me today. My name is Karen Slowinski and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Northeast Ohio. So the technique I'm going to show you today is making a custom ink pad with baby wipes. It's a really cool technique. I've seen quite a few other people try it, but until recently I've never tried it myself. But it is really, really fun. So I'm going to show you this is the card uh, that we'll be making today. And these fall colors are just so pretty. So we're gonna be making this beautiful card and then I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna do with the new ink pad that we are just going to make with the baby wipes. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna get started. All right, the supplies that we need today are really quite simple. So we have a piece of your thick basic white. This is eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. And then we have some strips of the six by six Regals um, designer series paper. These two are one inches uh, wide. This one is five inches. This one is three and three quarters. And then we have a small strip. This is a half inch by four and three quarters. So not very much paper. And then we need another piece of basic white. And we need this to stamp our pumpkin and our leaf. So the thing that we have to do first is make our custom ink pad. And I thought um, if we make this um, in fall colors, this pumpkin from the Pretty Pumpkins would be beautiful. And it really is outstanding. But afterwards, after we make our pumpkins using this stamp, I'm gonna also use this one because the, the leaf on this is just so pretty and it is another perfect one for stamping with our custom ink pad on the baby wipes. Um, both of these are fairly dense, if you will, with um, images or with their design. So these work really great with this technique. Something like this, where it's just the pumpkin outline, doesn't work quite as good because it doesn't really um, pick up enough of the color to really get the cool effect of making your own custom pads. So something that has a lot of stamp part to it works great. I'm gonna just set those aside for the moment. And we need to make our custom ink pad. So I'm gonna pull over one of my plates from my Stamparatus, and I am going to open up, actually I had to get a brand new baby wipe um, because, oh, there. I'm gonna pull this out, I'm gonna pull out, because my other one had um, gotten dried up a little bit. It still worked for me, but, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold them, try to smooth out some of those lines. Here, see if I can pull that a little bit tighter. And I'm gonna actually put two baby wipes together to get just a little bit more cushion. So again, I'm gonna open this up and fold that in quarters and have it just like this. So here is my custom ink pad. Now, the colors that I have chosen, these are all ink refills. So this is Crushed Curry. I also have some Daffodil Delight, Real Red, uh, Pumpkin Pie, and then I have Old Olive and Pear Pizzazz. So what you want are colors that are gonna blend together. And um, you have to be a little bit careful because sometimes they can get muddy. So I'm gonna start out with my Real Red. And it doesn't take a lot of ink, but I'm just going to you know, put some color down. I'm gonna just kind of space it out a bit. You've gotta have a, an area that's big enough for your stamp image. All right, that is good. And now I'm gonna add some of my pumpkin pie. So here we go with that one. And I hope that if you like this video today, you will give me a thumbs up and you'll share it with your friends. Um, it really does help me grow my business, so I appreciate that. And I appreciate you being subscribers. And you know, if you hit that bell notification, um, you will know when my videos come out. Um, I do tend to do these every two weeks. So here I'm just getting my colors down. I'm gonna get some of my greens in here next. 
All right, this is with the old olive first. So I'm not gonna do quite as much of the old olive. Just a little bit here, maybe a little bit there. And then we have our pear pizzazz. This nice, lovely green color. Okay, and then the last one is my Daffodil Delight. I'm just gonna put that. Sort of kind of fill it in with a daffodil. All right. And I'm gonna set all those ink refills aside. And now we are ready to take our stamp, which is this one. And I'm going to take my scrap of paper. So this is a piece that's a two and a half by four and three quarters. And you're going to stamp and then move it around slightly. And then I'm gonna just stamp right on here and you're gonna see all these beautiful colors. Isn't that beautiful? Now I think I need just a little bit more um, ink because my stamp's just a tiny bit bigger than I was imagining it to be. It's kind of hard to kind of guess this in advance, but I'm gonna add a little bit more bumpkin down here and a little bit up there. And I think that will help. So I have that stamped, but I have some more paper and I am going to go ahead and ink this up again. And since you have it all inked up, you might as well use that and stamp more images. So those look great. Now I'm gonna take this stamp here and I'm going to, well, let's get this here. And I'm just going to stamp a bunch of these Oh, isn't that fabulous? I really, really like this one. This one has a lot more of the uh, stamp design, if you will, that picks up these colors. I'm gonna just clean it off a little bit because I think I rotated it. I don't wanna get this too muddy. And I'm gonna put another one here. And then we have dies that we can cut these out. And I'm just gonna keep stamping away. Now, eventually, you'll use up all the ink that's on here and it will just start getting softer and softer. And let's do it here. And then, and I love these. So I'm gonna stamp away. So you can see how this one's starting to get a little bit softer, um, but they're still lovely. So I've got a little bit more so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it off so I can rotate it on here. And might as well get as much as I can out of this. And, and they are getting softer, but you can get quite a few cards. Oh, that one's pretty good. So. Look at that. Oh, that one's getting light. And I guess it just really depends where you press on your little ink pad here. But that one's pretty good. And some of these are really looking like fall. They're getting a little bit of the mixing of the colors, so they're looking a little bit um, brown, which is great because that's kind of what you would see if you were out in the woods. And I'll do one more here. Oh, maybe I can fit one more. And then these can be cut out and used in other cards. So I think that looks great. I'm gonna just put this out of the way and put these out of the way. So we have our pumpkin, and now we need our uh, leaf. So I forgot to get that out ahead of time. 
So let me get the leaf and put that on a block. And this one I am going to stamp in pear pizzazz. So I'm just gonna stamp this up here. And that looks fabulous. So now I'm gonna go cut those out. There are dies um, that come with this set. So I have the leaf and the pumpkin. I'm gonna go cut those out and I will be right back. Here I am. So here is my pumpkin. Now, when I stamped this, I kind of did not extend my ink out far enough. So what I'm gonna do is grab one of my little um, Stampin' Write markers. I'm just going to draw this top part of the stem, just give it a little bit more definition. And if we wanted to, I think we could do that on the bottom. So I'm gonna grab my pear pizzazz and we're just gonna just add a little bit more line at the bottom just to fill that out. So we have this and now we're ready to assemble. I'm gonna take my card base and I'm going to fold that in half and make sure it's lined up nicely. And give a good press. All right, so then for layering, um, we're going to start with our crushed curry. Add some of my glue. And this one, we're just gonna put out, oh, maybe three quarters of an inch or so up from the bottom. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna layer the Cajun craze next. And that's just gonna go off to this side. And it's gonna be centered from top to bottom. And again, you don't really have to measure it, but it's about an inch from the left side. And then lastly, we have our pumpkin pie, which we are going to put right over top um, where this intersects. And that's gonna look just like that. Okay, now we need some dimensionals. Oh, I want regular size dimensionals. And we are going to pop up our pumpkin. And I'm gonna use four of them. And I want a little bit more of this um, paper on the side to show, just to give it, I don't wanna cover it all up, it's so pretty. Now here we have our leaf. So what I like to do is take my snips, and I'm just gonna cut, you see right where there's a gap between those two parts of the leaf? I'm just gonna cut up toward the center. And then this is gonna be able to tuck right here um, around our pumpkin. And so for here, all I wanna do is grab one of my mini dimensionals and I'm gonna put it right on this portion because I want this part to be popped up and I want the other part to tuck in. So that is gonna hold that in place. So then I thought it would be really fun to add a little bit of a vine. So this is our Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. There are five, as you can see, five different colors that come in this pack. So I'm taking this one, it looks kind of like a, oh, I don't know, I guess like the vine of a pumpkin would be. And I'm taking my thumb and I'm just kinda, oh, I'm just trying to curl it. All right, so I got a little bit of a curl to it. And this one kind of unraveled a little bit, so I'm gonna cut that part off. Then I'm gonna take a glue dot and I am just going to kind of roll that up, okay, into a little bit of a log. And then I am going to tuck that here so that my stem can be attached. And I'm gonna press that in. Hopefully it won't fray too much. I'm just gonna press it into that little bit of the glue dot. And then I'm going to 
I didn't retain as much curl as the first time that I did it. But I'm gonna get another little glue log ready. So I'm taking this. All right, and that is rolled into a spot. And then I am just going to kind of curl this around. And however it wants to lay, I'm gonna put my little bit of a log there and curl it a little bit more it doesn't want to curl as much as my one did the other day but i am going to do that and stick it into the log all right and then we're just gonna trim off the extra well they do what they want to in nature, so I guess they're gonna do what they want to on my card. But there, we have a little bit of a stem. So then the last thing that we need to do is add our sentiment. And for this, I had set this up on my Stamparatus. So I'm gonna bring that in. The last thing we'd wanna do is mess this up now that we've gotten this far. So I'm gonna position my card over to the end and I'm going to make sure that's okay. And then I'm going to use real red. So I'm gonna stamp this, ink this up nice and well and stamp this in the top. Press it down a little bit and there we have the card. That looks so nice. Close up my ink pad. And then the last thing I wanted to do was add a little bit of a spritz. So I have taken my Stampin' Right marker. This is the soft suede. And I am just going to take the bold end and I'm gonna flick a little bit of color onto my card. So quite simple, really, really easy. And then I'm gonna show you how I finished off this other one. I did so thankful for you. And then I just used some scraps of my paper to make an accent down at the bottom. And I decorated the envelope with some pumpkins. So now I wanna show you what I did when I used those other pieces when I first did mine. So my first card is a very clean and simple card. I took one of those um, leaves that I stamped off I just put a couple layers of a, a label on it and thinking of you on this special day. Um, so that's a really, really beautiful way to show off these lovely colors. And that's what I did on the envelope. Um, this other one I made into a fall tree. I love this one because it really does look like the trees and they're just um, starting to get really beautiful around here. I live in Northeast Ohio, as I mentioned at the beginning, and fall colors are stunning. So I did that beautiful card. And then I put one of the extra leaves on the inside to decorate that. And then I just put a few little leaves there. And then this last card was really fun. This is the Four Seasons. So I took our tree and I turned it into, I think this is a, a birch tree. I'm not an expert on trees. And I started out and I stamped the tree in the white, and this is on our craft paper. This is new for this um, mini catalog that just came out. I added a little bit of the lines using my Stampin' Right marker to make it look like a birch tree. So I stamped it on four of these panels. These are about an inch wide. And then this first tree for spring, I stamped in um, granny apple green, and I just stamped the detail. And then when I did the summer tree, I stamped it in garden green, and I stamped the one that has a little bit more filled in. So that's what it would be like in the spring. It wouldn't be quite so full. And then when you get to the summer, nice and green. And then here's where I used our custom stamp pad and I did all the colors. And then of course we have our winter tree. Um, a little bit of ribbon on here. And I just thought this one was fantastic. And then to keep it on the inside, all I did was put a strip of that ribbon. It's a, a suede type ribbon and it looks beautiful. And then I put some trees on the outside. So there you have it a custom stamp pad. Um, really fun and easy to do. 
Um, think about some of the other things that you could do. It'd be really pretty if you did something with Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and maybe Pacific Point, or maybe some of our pinks and purples together. Um, just give it a try and see what you come up with. Um, thanks again for watching, and please share this video with your friends, and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much.